So we're back in the lab now after scanning up these pieces of cladding or these curved pieces of plywood. We were actually scanning the perimeter or the border of these panels and I wanted to extract out some of the points from the point cloud that I've got set up here as comparison points. Let me show you those a second. I can middle mouse button push down and show you those. But if you haven't seen the video that shows how we put these points into, uh, into the model here using a sample grid, you should probably go out and check that out because it's a pretty sweet way of putting the points in an organized fashion a uh, certain distance apart from each other kind of gives some symmetry there but um, but go ahead and check out that video on how to use a sample grid for putting comparison points on these uh, on these reference models so but what I want to show you here is how we can extract those points from the point cloud in fact I'm going to turn those off for just a second and show you this we actually scanned um, scan this panel using the scan to mesh feature that comes in V14. And you can kind of see we've put a border, just a quick little border around this panel. We best fit the point cloud first and then we settled on a plane axis center point alignment uh, to best fit down the median or the center line of this part. So, but what we have now is we've got this scanned mesh that's right over top of this panel and now I want to extract out the points from the point cloud that correlate with these points here, these comparison points. When we put these points on here, what I've done is I've gone into the properties of these points. So I'll show you all these points here. And I'm just going to grab one here a second. If I right click on it and I look at the properties, these are the things that we've filled out. Okay, the first thing that I've looked at is the radius here, this 250 thou, so a quarter inch radius. What that is, is it's a, um, it's a zone around the point that will still allow an extraction. So almost like a target point would be where you're actually pulling from an area that's a, a 250 thou radius target. The other thing here is under the measurement tab, the method is going to be extracting from the point cloud that we've captured. But here's the big thing is the parameters. Okay, under the parameters, um, I'm going to have the data object be the surface, but I'm looking at a max distance of a half inch. So what that says is that if there's a deviation on this panel that's a half inch or less from the point cloud related to the panel, the nominal CAD panel, it will still extract out the point that it's closest to. So that's what it's saying here, so that if, uh, if my deviation is greater than a half an inch, the point will not get extracted. Okay, I'll hit apply there for just a second and close. I will highlight all of the points now. And the way we're going to extract those points out now is you can just hit your right mouse key. And with this, this value here, extract measured. Watch what happens when I click on that with the left mouse key. Every one of those points will extract out the point that comes, uh, comes closest to the point cloud. So now all of those points will take on a color based on this color scale that I've got designated over here, or the color map displays. So now all those points have a value and it's found the closest point that it can from the point cloud. So very easy to do, but when you go and set your points up, make sure that you have your extraction criteria set up under your properties. And here's the measure max distance that I was talking about. That's a half inch.